Hey guys, for this video I have got something really amazing to show you. It um, came last Tuesday and um, I really am so excited. Um, I don't know if you guys know but I made a video about my um, headphones arriving from Amazon and uh, I've used them and they're really good. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I mentioned in my video that, um, I had a print and, uh, I wanted to buy a frame for it and I measured my picture and, um, well, I'm going to tell you later, but I made it, um, too small. So, um, I bought another frame, which, um, is kind of right, but, um, then, kind of not. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna say. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna show you now. Um, be um, be ready for it. All right, I'm gonna show you in three, two, one. Ta-da! This here is um, a signed picture of Luna, signed by Erica Lindbeck. Um, she did a stream on Twitch where she was signing everybody's prints. And uh, I just happened to have come across a link to the stream new website and they were doing like a Hulover Boss signing. So, yeah. So, this was um, quite a popular print um, that everyone bought. I mean, I say everyone, I mean nearly everyone. There was, um, there were two more prints, but I thought this was the best one, so uh, I went with this one. Um, yeah, sorry, it's um, sliding down. It's, um, uh... I think the frame's a little bit big because um, when I measured it out, it was still in the package. It was still in this um, parcel sleeve, so um, I measured it um, via the parcel. So as it as I thought, the print was smaller than the parcel. So yeah, this was print number three hundred and thirty-five. Um, I'll show you a picture on the back. Of the poster yeah so this is um Eric Lindbeck's signature I haven't got a certificate of uh, authenticity because I didn't want to sell this so yeah yeah I know um, I know you probably can't see it but um, hopefully when I photograph this when I start submitting this video I will um properly show you um, what the signature looks like and the message. The message I had was what you're looking at. I, uh, I requested that message because every time you look at this poster, it just seems like she's looking at you funny. Thing, either thinking or saying what you're looking at because because everyone's in love with Luna who who isn't in love with Luna come on look at her it's probably a furry thing to say I know but um, I don't just like and like I said before I don't just like it as a furry anthropomorphic animal her personality herself is quite badass she looked badass um, I mean, come on, who wouldn't fall in love with her? I mean, yeah, the, you, there is, she has a human form as well from episode 5, but otherwise, damn. <laughs> Look, Luna. It's you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I admit, 
I am obsessed, but I'm obsessed in a, a way that isn't cringy. I mean, people have been obsessed with worse things. I'm not going to say what, but um, yeah. So yeah, um, I'm going to tell you how I've come across this print right now. Um, so, <clears throat> I was on my phone listening to music and I was going down the list of videos on YouTube and um, I came across a post by Bebsy Pop saying about a live um, streaming video event that was um, coming up. Um, so there was like a link to the Streamly website and I was looking through the um, website and I looked, looked at the print and I thought, oh these are good. Um, I decided to buy one and well, you see I would have to admit that I don't buy online on my own. I usually um, get my mum to do it for me but I thought I know what she was going to make of this, so I thought, oh, I'll try and do it myself. So, I mean, I've, I've, I've been starting buying online myself, um, not long ago, actually, probably Mar around March time. So, yeah, on the 17th of March, I bought this. Um, I'm actually surprised I could actually remember that, because I don't usually remember things, but, yeah, I bought this on... Um, the 17th of March, just before my birthday. Um, I had hoped it was going to come on my birthday, which would have been awesome, but it didn't, so I waited a bit longer, and by Tuesday the 27th of April, it uh, arrived at my grandma's house, because I was, um, well, I was out helping my granddad, and then... Um, I came back and then I went to collect my castle from my grandma's because we have a system where if um, um, if all my family went out somewhere and my grandma and my grandma were at home, postman would just bring parcel to their house. So that's actually quite a good system. I mean, we do have ring, but um, I mean, where would the postman put his parcels anyway? It's not not exactly ideal leaving leaving this outside, is it? Otherwise, it'd be ruined. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, I started watching um, the live stream from Vincey Pop's channel, and I was, I'm not going to lie, I was nervous because I thought they were actually going to sign on that video, but turns out they were, it was just them chatting, which I enjoyed watching, don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoyed listening to them talk. And then if, um, I'm not sure how I found out, but I think there was a link to everyone's um, social media accounts for their live streaming video. And I've watched um, Erica Limbeck's live stream. And I was nervous over that because I was actually concerned where how she would react to this. I hadn't worried it too much because I knew she'd understand what I meant when I was put... What's she looking at? Question mark, exclamation mark. Half of me was like, I knew what she was going to react to and I thought she'd take it the wrong way, but I kept thinking, oh, people are going to say worse. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much how big the parcel was. It was um, 14 times 18 inches. Um, if you just like give me a moment, I'm gonna go down and I'll show you the um, the frame that I bought by mistake. All right, so this is the frame that I bought, but what I haven't considered was. Instead of this being 13 times 18, I know I said 14, but, um, oh no, I'm pretty sure it was 14 times 18 inches that I wanted. But I think, well, I measured it by the parcel, and, well, um, I didn't consider 
that this was actually centimeters, not inches. So this is the result. Yeah, I don't think this would work. So um, I was a bit. I, well, I'm not gonna lie, and and this might seem silly, but I was quite gutted that the frame wasn't the right size because I really wanted this frame and up on my wall. ASAP. <laughs> I don't think there was a rush, but to be honest, I mean. I was just excited to have it up. Um, also as well, uh, I bought some cloak merch from... Cloak? It was um, a Markiplier design. You know, with the rose on and um, the white and the black. Um, I'll, probably show, I'll probably show you the picture of the email that I had. I don't have to blur out all the personal details because the thing is, the last time I showed, I made a video where I showed me fan and then they showed me address, which was a bad idea. But I managed to censor it, so um, I'm going to try not to show it at all because the risk of everybody seeing where, knowing where I live, it, you know, the thought just. <laughs> I just don't want that to happen. It's uh, worth wrecking North that I show me face on YouTube or photograph, never mind showing where I live, which... Well, it's not a nice thought, is it? You're thinking, oh, some stranger's gonna come to your house and then... Well, most probably rob you and stuff. I'd say my advice is don't talk about what you do all the time. It's, um... Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is, I've never got a signed print before, and this is a very big honour for me. Um, yeah. It took a long time, because I'm from the UK, and this print came from California. It, had, it was, it was, um, um, it was a long way, but I think it has been an absolute worth the wait. You know, it's times like this where you may as well just buy what you want some days. You just may as well treat yourself in the day. It's not um, rocket science in some ways, but yeah. So yeah, I've um, anyway, I've downloaded an app called Shop, which um, tracks your orders. From, well, I, th I think certain websites, but I'm not sure how it works properly. But they give uh, they send you an email when the item was shipped. When the item is shipped, so um, you get like an order code, and you type in the code, and you type in the courier that's delivering your parcel, and then it tracks where your parcel's been. So this went from, well, I'm just going to put it in simple terms, but. This came from California and it flew over to New York, which flew over to London. And that was that was when I knew the app was working. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, the overall. I don't. I can't remember who says. Um, Cilicia. That's Cilicia. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, what's um, the live stream that uh, Erica Limbeck was doing? Um, there was, um, it, it was interesting. I actually enjoyed watching. I know it was like a few hours long, but um, otherwise, um, it was fascinating. The only thing is, not just the fact that I was nervous about her mentioning my <laughs> order of the print, but I never got to watch the very last video because I have a system where I watch all my YouTube videos in one day and then I watch oh, something else on another day. And um, there was a day where there was times where I just watched 
her live stream videos one day, another day will she all YouTube and some, some well, drawing and something else and then well there's well yeah helping me family all got on me video games so yeah um so yeah I wasn't concerned about watching the live stream straight away because I thought, oh, I'm planning on watching it another day, but so the thing is she mentioned she was going to delete the live stream signing videos and, you know, I thought, well, why can't you just keep them on? Why, why delete them? I mean, it's not who's honest. I mean, I don't see no reason to delete it. So I would love to look back at it and like my I or heard she mentioned me. Trouble is I wouldn't know for sure whether she mentioned my name or not because I haven't watched the last one. I would have to assume that she hasn't mentioned me. But maybe she signed it while in silent. Because I think I think for your print to be I think for your print to be mentioned. I think not only do you have to have the Twitch account and you have to talk, but but I think you have to have membership or like a premium thing. So is so then it's most likely your print will get mentioned. But I know for a fact that she used different markers to sign her prints, and I think she used the black markers last. So I would assume it was either. On the second to last stream, which I had watched, where she had signed it, but she didn't mention it, or she had mentioned mine, but hasn't. But no, hang on, no, she might have mentioned me print on the last one, but I just haven't watched it. And I feel a little bit, a little bit gutted. But at the end of the day, all I care about is getting me print. So. Yeah, so I want to say a major thank you to Eric Lindbeck for getting me this print and for um, writing my message. Again, this works because you look at, a, you look at the picture. I'm hoping you can see this because the light's shining off it, but I'll be showing a photograph of it on DeviantArt so you'll be able to see properly what the picture looks like. Um... So yeah, I'm just really, I'm really happy because it's like, it's the fact that she touched the print, not only that, but she actually signed the print at her signature. I'm going to... I'll have to see if I can get a uh, Oscar Mayday print next time the um, Hello the Boss um, signing stream comes on, but uh, until then. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. So, um, I'm kind of glad I bought a big picture because I had my mum help me put this in the frame and, well, uh, See, I could tell she was struggling to put it on. She had to use a knife to wedge it, wedge the um, cork background in. And um, it was like nerve wracking because I didn't really want anything. So this is this is why I didn't I didn't open this straight away because I had it sitting in my bedroom. I had nowhere to put it. It was parcelled up for about a week since it came in the post, and. Um, well, 
I'm glad I did it because I wanted to preserve this as long as possible. Thing is, I mean, I don't want to seem horrible, but any poster or print that I buy from anywhere, I probably just ha put blue tack on and just slap it on the wall. This, however, there's no way in hell am I going to put blue tack on this. This is too much of a big deal. To have it just slapped on the wall with blue tack, which doesn't even flipping work, by the way. It goes for a bit, but then eventually it doesn't work, which is really annoying. So, yeah. And she mentioned as well why she had these big prints. It's the exact reason here. She wants the print frameable. That's what she said on the live stream. Also enjoyed watching her cat roam around. And the, the, the choice of music was really relaxing. I can remember it being very relaxing. Um, yeah, and I've noticed um, in the chats people were going crazy about <laughs> her cat showing up on screen. Which, um, another thing as well, I've, I have noticed some references in not just episode 4 where Moxie and Millie were dressed as cats. That's probably one of the um, references to the fact that the, most of the voice actors have pet cats. But as well, in episode five, which was awesome by the way, Striker's my favorite character. My favorite new character, I think. Because, not to go off topic, but It's his appearance that resembles either a shark or a snake. I would say that he's like a snake type in because, only because he has a long gold tooth which resembles a fang, but also his eyes remind me a little bit of Car from Jungle Book. So, in a sense, I'd say he's a snake type him. Because a lot of him comes in different shapes and sizes. And today, they're like humans. I might have mentioned this in the review, but these imps, they're like, they're like humans. They have emotion, they are different. there's different types. Kind of like minions in a way, but imp, these imps are like more of a fun print, they're like, every one of them is different. Remoxie looks like half Sanitar, Sanitar? Half man, half goat kind of type of imp. Which um, leads up to another conclusion as well that I keep thinking that Moxie has skinny jeans. Skinny black jeans only because there is one picture on the wall where he was arg where Moxie was arguing with Zim as reference to Richard Horvitz voicing them two characters. And well You see I look I keep looking at the um, the way the artist drew Moxie's Well, how do I put this? Well the way she well, the, the way she drew Moxie makes it look like he's wearing jeans. Whereas Vimsy makes it look like he has black fur on his legs. So when you draw it drawing wearing swim shorts or something, or trunks or something, whatever you call it, I keep thinking, it, it just in my mind it just doesn't seem right, it just seems more right that he has them black legs because of his jeans. But anyway, um, yeah. I love this picture. I don't want to go into details on the second one, but there was one where she was making a rude gesture and also another one where she's chillaxing with a laptop. But I thought the second one might not be right considering I live with my parents and I don't think they'd... Well, also because I'm wanting to film 
this so I don't want to like make this video inappropriate so yeah uh, anyway um I may as well put this up I think I've said what I said so Luna, if you want to like have a look at this while we talk for a bit. So yeah, I mean, I do overall like Luna's character design, and you know. I just in time for more of the animals. I'm just gonna say it, understand. Don't know why, maybe because of my childhood. But you know, yeah. I mean, I don't wanna make this weird, but that's one of the reasons why I like Luna. I just like the idea of animals having human aspects. That's all I'm gonna say. So, yeah. It's a really good quality print as well, I have to say. I really like this print. Anyway, um, I'm now going to go and put this up now, because I think I've said enough there is to say. Um, this is just my opinions on the poster, so, yeah. I'm just going to film, film me putting this up, because... The one thing I hate about picture frames is putting them back up because I'm always very skeptical of them falling off. Also the fact that when you get close to the wall you can't actually see what you're doing. So yeah, um, I'm just going to go and put this back up. So yeah, I mean... Sorry, I'm just trying to put my picture straight. I'm trying to get back in the middle. Without breaking the picture frame, but oh god, this is a. I had my dad help me put the um, pen back right, so yeah. this is it um yeah seems all right sorry this took long i really am i wanted to try and make sure it's not gonna fall off and break the frame because i've only just bought this frame here we go um this is where i put it just um here so yeah um 
So yeah, this is the um, signature here from Erica, and then this is my message. Yeah, I apologise if it isn't straight, but um, I mean, hey ho, I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? I mean, I'd rather if it was the wrong size in a good way rather than, well, you know. And uh, in case you guys want to know what was up on the um, uh, wall for where my lunar picture was. Oh, hang on. Let me just um, turn the light off. This is a picture from um, a couple of years ago. I think it was a couple of years ago. My friend um, Rebecca drew me this. Um, Back for when I liked My Little Pony. Um, well, actually, I liked the, the film was good. And um, the show was good as well. So these are my favourite characters that she drew. Um, I thought it was worth mentioning because this is a really good drawing. I mean, I'm not not that into MP anymore, but um, I kind of still like it. But I'm more into a Louvre boss than has been hotel now. So, uh, new fad. But, um, this doesn't mean I'm going to hate the show instantly, but I like to think, I like to remember the days where I liked something and, well, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, click like, uh, hit the subscription button. And click the notification bell. Links to my other channels are down below. And I'll um, see you guys in the next video. See ya.